Hi, Dave Jones here again. Uh, we're going to work on the second instalment now of the, uh, of the blues, uh, blues rhythm variations. This is another little variation that you can play. Um, again, I'm, I'm going to do it in the key of G because uh, it works for, uh, you can get the chords with um, acoustic guitar or electric guitar then, um, for those of you who, who are doing it on acoustic. Uh, but again, like I said before, it can be moved into any key once you get uh, to know what the names of the notes along the, uh, in this case, the E string um, root notes are. Uh, there's some lessons up on that on the website and the bar chords and as usual the, uh, the tab for this is up on the website it might be easier if you, if you print it off to follow along. So what I'll do is I'll play you through it and uh, then I'll do a little close up of the, the ideas in there. Okay so here we go through the 12 bar blues in G uh, and then in a minute I'll show you a little close up of it. Okay, so here we go with a little close-up of uh, what's going on there. Uh, again, it's a repeating pattern, so you, you probably only need the, the, the pattern once. But what I'm doing is I'm, I'm starting off with my first finger on the um, on the D string at the third fret, and then I'm putting the third finger on the A string at the fifth fret, and I'm playing string-wise. I'm playing A D A D, and it's in a sort of the first uh, three notes are a triplet feel. Ba 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 ba. Um, so that you've got ba ba ba, and then uh, um, uh, crotch it afterwards, so it goes. So that's the first first four notes in the in the sequence. And then what I'm doing is I'm rolling this third finger down, and I'm holding down um, the D, G, and B strings at the third fret, hitting all of them, and then I'm barring this finger, the first finger, across the same strings, D, G, B at the third fret, hitting all of them. But as I do that. I'm hammering that note on the fourth fret of the um, of the G string, hammering on with my second finger, so it goes. So what we've got there, it goes. Okay, so that's the movement that you need. Um, and then what, I, what, what we were doing is just moving it up to the, uh, to the C position, which is at the 8th fret, and the D position, which is at the 10th fret on the E string, a bit like the, uh, the previous one if you've been following the, the lessons. Okay, yeah, so you just, uh, you just move that shape around from the 3rd fret to the 8th fret when you change to C, and to the 10th fret, that's where your, your first finger's going, when you change to the D chords, so you've got that. And then when you move up to C... So just get used to that, um, and like I say, this, is, this, this isn't a particularly beginner lesson because you've got this bar and idea going on there, but it'll help you, your A-shaped bar chords, and um, I hope you found that useful. Um, like I say, you, you, if you're following the lessons, you, you can add that to the first variation I did, and you can interchange them whenever you want to, and it makes the whole thing sound a little bit more, a little bit more interesting. So I hope you found that useful, and I'll see you again sometime.